Hey Jogger Peeps, so as you know, we just finished another four country episodes and whenever we do that, we take a little break so that we can research and write and script out and film the next four episodes. So as you guys know, the next four countries are gonna be Fiji, Finland, the country that must not be named. There's gonna be so much controversy with that one. And France. However, I still kinda wanna give you guys a video this week, so I actually went to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I'm like, hey, if you guys have any questions, just ask. I'll answer any questions you have. Nate the Wolf says, what language is your favorite to listen to? Uh, let's see. Probably Kosa, Inuktitut, and Silva Gomero. Look them up. Gelko the Singaporean says, what do you know about Singapore? I know that if all goes well, I'll be going there in November. Adam Holtzman 3 says, what's your opinion on Brexit? Ah, oh, geez, a deep question. Okay, first of all, I'm not British, and I'm not a professional political analyst, and I'm not gonna pretend that I am, although admittedly, I do like to kind of dabble in my topical current events every so often. But what I can make of everything based off of my research and what people have told me and all the articles that I've read is that it's a lot more convoluted and complex than people seem to make it out as. I mean, I can kind of see the validity on both sides of the argument. I mean, on one hand, I can kind of understand why the UK was upset with the EU, but on the other hand, leaving the EU does have a lot of potentially detrimental effects that could ensue and capsize the very foundation of their socioeconomic structure. And that's why this whole thing is taking so long, because it's like nobody really knows exactly how to go about doing this whole thing, because nobody's done it before. It's like they have to consider, you know, trade deals and legislative policies, and there's so much paperwork. In my personal opinion, I think that if the UK is very very smart, and if they play their cards exactly perfectly right, they could maybe possibly slide out of this whole transition somewhat kind of smooth and alive. I don't know what the chances are. Personally, I hope you Brits kind of pull it off somewhat smoothly. I mean, you, you Brits, you, you're smart people. You're very smart people, okay? You had the largest empire at one point in time. You created us Americans and we landed on the moon, so we gotta give you some credit. You Brits are smart. Green the Tortera says, favorite shows to watch. I know Stranger Things is one of them. Ha <laughs> yes, yes, Stranger Things. So as you guys know, Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows. I love that. It's on Netflix. Check it out. Honestly though, I don't really watch a lot of TV. I mostly just watch YouTube videos for my main source of media. However, recently I noticed just because it's on Netflix, I was like, eh, why not? I'll watch it. Um, everybody when I was a kid grew up watched it, but I didn't. Friends. It's, it's an alright show. I, I, I don't, I, I'm okay with it. Friends. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm only on season one. Underscore Shogunate says, if California somehow became its own country, would you move to another part of the country that is still the United States, or would you stay in the new country of California? I'd stay in California. Uh, I believe I read somewhere that if California ceded from the U.S. for whatever reason, even though that's impossible, uh, they would have like the seventh largest economy in the world, no matter, even on its own. So, yeah, I'd stay in California, and I love California. It's my, it's my home. Non-social teen says, interested in more fan meetups. Yes, in fact, that's one of the reasons why I do Geography Go, so I can meet the fans who live in other countries. Kevin Kelt 12 says, what is the most extreme place you've ever been to? Meaning extremely hot, extremely cold, high altitude, underground, etc. Ooh, that's a good question. Hottest place? Depends. If it's dry heat, probably Qatar or Saudi Arabia. If it's humidity, probably South Korea. Oh my gosh, those summers are brutal. Coldest place, Rovaniemi, Finland. I think it was like negative 25, negative 30 degrees Celsius. Highest place, La Paz, Bolivia. I could barely even breathe. Like walking down the street, I was already suffocating. So yeah, I think that's about it. Ekavoto number eight says, what country has the best physical geography in your opinion? I would say it's probably a tie between the US and China. Both countries have wildly contrasting landscapes. They both have deserts, they both have jungles, they both have wetlands, they both have plains and prairies, they both have mountains. You will probably not find any more diversity than in the US and in China. Kathy Daikansa says, what's your favorite thing about Canada? Have you ever been? I've been to Montreal, I loved it. Even though when I went it was raining, it was still beautiful. I loved it, your streets, your cobblestone streets and quaint little buildings and all that stuff. Everything's written in French. I love it. It looks amazing. If I ever go back to Canada, I would like to go to Iqaluit, the capital of Nunavut. J Fay J V D T says, "Well, if nobody else is going to ask weird questions, I will. Where do babies come from? Soft truth, mom and dad. Hard truth, genitalia." Arafi says, "What's the first thing that pops into your mind when you hear Indonesia? Probably the most unconventionally." Muslim country in the world. Halloween boy says, do you have a girlfriend? As of right now, no, but I did kind of on and off briefly date that Amanda girl who played Croatia and she was also in the Dominican Republic episode. Shocker of the century. Irina Spaskovska says, do you have a brother or sister? Come on, you saw the Cameroon episode. By the way, backwards unicorn duck, my sister came up with that joke. 
Jack for now, which is better, Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo. The pyrotechnician says, are you into metal music? You know, I never really was until recently. Uh, my old roommate really kind of, he would always listen to Periphery and Tesseract, like progressive metal. And I started kind of like listening to them more and I, I, I kind of like them. I like progressive metal. And I also, uh, I know they're an old band, but I actually really like, uh, 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 Apocalyptica. Also, I love it when metal bands do metal covers of pop songs. That is the coolest thing ever. Cade or Caddy Niles, uh, Barbie. I'll let that one slide. If you robbed a bank and had to hide someplace remote with $100 million in cash, where would you go? I would never rob a bank, first of all. However, if I wanted to run away somewhere remote for any reason whatsoever, not because like I'm in trouble, but just because I just want to get away and go somewhere remote, Greenland. I'd probably go to Greenland. Nils Nikolai says, what is your favorite enclave and exclave? One example for each. Ooh, that's that's a pretty good question. I mean, I don't have favorites, but I do find some more intriguing and interesting to research and look up. Let's see, enclaves. Uh, does the entire nation of Lesotho count? If not, because it's a whole country. Um, uh, I would say maybe the Soh district of Uzbekistan in Kyrgyzstan. It's a really interesting one. It's kind of, it's got like a border fence and everything. And it's really awkwardly held by... Uzbekistan. Look, yeah, that's a cool one. Uh, Kaliningrad is pretty interesting for Russia. I think uh, my favorite ones to kind of research and kind of dive into are probably Ceuta and Melilla, uh, the two cities of Spain that are actually off of the coast of Morocco. Those are pretty cool. I like those. Alonso Gurmendi Dunkelberg says, can we ever hope to see a Geography Now Crash Course collaboration video? You're reading my mind, bro. John Selkowitz says, how many states in the U.S. have you been to? Is there any that you haven't been to yet but want to? I remember I actually recorded this. Uh, I've been to 31 of the 50 states and I haven't, the ones I wanna go to that I haven't been to yet are probably Louisiana, uh, Wyoming, the Northern part of Vermont. And technically I had a layover in Alaska Anchorage airport, but I didn't leave the airport. So I don't know if that counts. If not, I'd love to go to Alaska, but I specifically would like to go to Barrow, Alaska, the northernmost town right on the Northern tip. It's like the most Northern city in America. Quinton William White says, what is your favorite dinosaur? Ankylosaurus, uh, has defense and offense. You can't destroy it. Julie Norton says, would you try Icelandic Hakarl on a dare? I don't know what that is, but yeah, sure, I'll try it. Oh, it's that rotting shark thing. Dude, you don't have to dare me, I wanna try that. Grant Hawkins says, do you collect coins? Oh, Grant, <laughs> come follow me. Not only do I collect the coins, but I also collect the banknotes as well. Andrew King says, how do you like your eggs? You know, it's funny, when I was a kid, I would only eat my eggs scrambled. But now that I'm a bigger, stupider, fatter kid, I only eat my eggs sunny side up. I don't know why. It's like I, I changed my mind over the course of my life. I like Now I only like sunny side up. Josh KW says, what New Zealand flag did you like the best on the alternate options of the New Zealand flag referendum? Dude, New Zealand, how could you not vote for laser kiwi? Why, why didn't... <sighs> So I think those are all the questions that I saved on my phone. Uh, thank you for sending all those questions. It was really fun answering them. So currently working on the Fiji and Finland episodes right now. And then when I'm done with those scripts, I'm going to be uh, doing the country that must not be named and France. A lot of crazy stuff going on right now, but it's, it's fun. And I, I really appreciate that you guys like this channel. So hope you have a good one. Stay cool. Stay tuned.